I have here for you some numbers, which of course are on the web, so you don't have to copy them. And you have Young's modulus there for various metals, and I also have it down there for nylon, and today we will work with that quite extensively. We could first do a simple example, just to get a feeling for what is at stake here. I can take a, uh, a rod with a radius r, which is 0.5 centimeters. That would give me a cross-sectional area of 8 times 10 to the minus 5 square meters. So GA thick, the rod. I make it very simple. I make the length 1 meter. And I hang on the rod at the bottom a mass M, which let's say is 500 kilograms. Do I want 500 kilograms? Yes, I want 500 kilograms. In other words, the force which I pull on the rod is about 5,000 newtons. So I can now ask myself, how much longer is this rod going to be? So we're going to have the delta L is going to be F divided by A times L divided by Young's modulus. And we do know what F is, we know what L is, and we know what A is. So in our case, this number is 6.3 times 10 to the seventh for the numbers that we have. And so now we can look at steel as an example. So we take steel, y is 20 times 10 to the tenth newtons per square meter, and we substitute that in here, and we find that we get an extension delta L, which I believe is only a third of a millimeter, indeed. 0.3 millimeters. Think about this. A steel rod, a centimeter thick, and it has a length of one meter, and I hang 500 kilograms on it, and it only gets longer by three-tenths of a millimeter. You couldn't even see that. However, if you go and make the rod, which would be really a rope, if you make it out of nylon, which has a Young's modulus, oh, well, it's 55 times lower. I don't have to use that number. It's about 55 times lower, so the delta L will then be 55 times larger, and so instead of a third of a millimeter, I will get something like 17 millimeters. And that you can see with your naked eye. I take a rope, yay thick, of nylon, I hang 500 kilograms on it, and I will see it gets longer by 1.7 centimeters. You can see that right in front of your eyes.